By clicking that link, it's brought you to this page to make a copy. Click on Make a Copy. This will create a file in your Google Drive that's a copy of a file created by an educator named Alice Keeler. This is a wonderful activity that makes use of spreadsheets to make pixel art. The directions are here, somewhat straightforward, but I thought I'd walk you through to make it a bit more clear. Down at the bottom, we have four tabs. We're currently on the directions tab, but we have one that we can make a picture, one that will do some calculations, and one that will let us compare an estimate that we make with those calculations. If you had a chance to do the making calculations with Google Sheets activity already, then this is where that knowledge will come into play. But let's get started by how we can make a picture. By clicking on that tab, I have what looks like a blank slate. Each of these cells has been coded to turn a certain color based on the number you type into the cell. So if you type in a single digit like one, it will turn that cell red. If I type in a two, it'll go orange, three, it'll go yellow, four, it'll go green, and so on. Though there's no legend, the colors over on the right hand side, starting at the top, one to nine, and then the gray at the bottom is actually zero. Well, this gives us a chance to actually make some calculations. So right now, if I was to say, how many cells did I fill with color? Currently, I have 10 different cells that are filled with color. One of those cells is red. So one of my 10, or 1 tenth, or 10% 10 would be red. If I then go to the calculate, side, I can see that same image is in that field there. And now I can actually see that there's a tally up at the top. So it's told me that I've used red once, orange once, yellow once, and it's a total number of 10. Well, this is where making use of that calculation comes into play. If I click on this cell, if I remember from before, if I type an equal sign, it starts to recognize that I'm making a calculation. I would then click on the number associated with a certain color. So in this case, I'm clicking on that cell and it's placed that information back in that box. I want to divide that by my grand total 10, which will change, so I just want to click on the cell. And I need to multiply by 100. I uh, prefer to put in brackets, which I neglected to do there, but I can go back and add those in. And after my bracket, I'm going to put my multiplication sign times 100, hit enter, and there it calculated 10%. My final page, it compares what I estimate with what my actual calculation is. Now this was pretty straightforward for me to estimate because I only had 10 cells and one of each color, so I knew that that was 10%. But when I start to make a, a picture that's a bit more intricate, So if I, for example, was to maybe go around and make some something like that, and then I was to have a couple of those cells in the middle that were red. Well, now my estimation is a bit more challenging. How many have I to used in total? How many are red? How many are black? So that's going to change a little bit. So hopefully you can have some fun. Key thing here is to try making some art like Marissa taught us in the video. Try and get a sense of the, the challenge that goes into doing something that's pointillism or, or dot art. But most of all, have some fun with it.